Hello my beautiful tulips, I hope that you guys are all having a fantastic week. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys my Finnish island. This is a countryside slash spring island and this island was so so fun to create. I firstly want to say I'm so sorry for not posting for like 14 days. I've been pretty sick these past days and I have no motivation to play or like to even edit videos and I still have a, sm a slight cough so um, I will stop in between as well because those are annoying i quickly want to mention that this island was so fun and creative i've never done um, a theme like this before so it's really nice to challenge myself um, so this is a spring core and it's more of a playful uh, countryside so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys my map this is my island and this is the map and my characters that I have are Flora Huck Goldie, Poppy, Dobie, Opal, Benjamin, Bonbon, bon, Felicity, and Chelsea or Chelsea. I also have my dream address there as well. If you'd like to come and tour this island with me, well, my island with me. And as you guys can see, there's kind of a lot of in-game path that I incorporated and some waterscaping as well and i'm just really excited to show you guys i love this little map it's just like it's just really fun and playful if you guys haven't seen my older videos of soft glow this is soft glow 2.0 i did have another version of soft glow but i just i didn't really like how it looked and i wasn't really vibing with it so i decided to change up the theme and i will try to make a playlist of the um first version of soft glow but that's if i remember because i usually don't so for my entrance this is my entrance and i wanted to have my my villager homes right in front i really love this vibe and i really love how like naturally feels and i'm so happy that i was able to create this lovely area and for uh, like another reason that i decided to put my villagers um homes in front was because my resident service area is super close to my airport and i didn't realize that it was super close until like i was doing my first version of soft glow and then i was like oh yeah this is like really close to the resident service area so i decided to change it up and i honestly really like the outcome of it so there's really no special way to tour this island you can go left right straight it doesn't really matter but for today's video i'm gonna go ahead and go to the left side and i really love this pink brown tone vibes i just vibe with it super cute and maybe in the future i'll probably do like a whole pink beige island it's really cute and i really love all of the colors and the natural everything just feels super super cute and up in the cliffs as well there's some um like sometimes like not sometimes i don't want to say like my head is like rambling but in some of the cliffs um you can actually access them by using this vine but some of them are not like really decorated there's just like a bunch of flowers but that's just in case if you guys want to explore the top area and crossing this bridge right over here we do have the river mouth and i decided to go with this really cute farm i believe i can't quite remember but i was inspired by looking at amy's island she created something really similar uh, to this and i wanted to kind of make it a version of mine i added a little um like little picnic area over here and i thought it was super cute using these items i also quickly want to mention that my beaches are not done some of them have coconut trees and some of them have like lily of the valleys but that's pretty much it of on the decorations of the beach so i had to take a quick pause because i needed to drink some water so right over here we do have my museum and my museum this is like the first time i've done like a sunken museum i think the very first version of soft glow i did have something similar to this but i decided not to go with it just because i wasn't really vibing with it and for this area as you guys can see you guys can come down here and there's some waterscaping and then right over here you are greeted with the museum over here i decided to add like a little picnic area where you can kind of eat and study as well i love this little path as well i wanted to incorporate some countryside so i decided to go with the storefront and the wheat field it just, get, it just gives it that pop of countryside i also noticed like halfway when i was doing this area that i didn't add any like waterscaping to to the left side but then i was like i don't really want to redo everything i really like how the area looks there's a lot of detail to the um cliffs up there but there is no really way to kind of access that area 
um over here we have like a little picnic and i thought that was super cute so we're gonna go ahead and come back over here and to this area we have this really tiny pink uh picnic and i really like i love this area it's super super cute i thought it was really nice and if we go ahead and come back to this cliff area we are back to like this front area that we were earlier and you can actually take this little vine let's go ahead and take this vine and you can actually you can actually sit back here and pull your camera out and take some pretty pictures also if like i'm rambling with my words it's because i haven't done any videos and literally like the days that i haven't posted i've just been really um haven't been feeling that i've been pretty sick so yeah so you guys can go ahead and take this a little um little vine also um i'm proud to say this is my third island that i have finished i'm really really excited so over here we do have some wheat fields and look how cute goldie looks enjoying her little juice that is so cute so for this area i wanted to kind of recreate a very first ver a very first <laughs> a version of the first area in the front area and i wanted to use throughout the island these beige and brown tone houses i thought they were super cute and i love how aesthetically it looks in the island especially like in this time of animal crossing this is my favorite time in animal crossing i just think it's really nice also if i'm up in your ears i'm sorry i'm trying to be as far as possible but i kind of sound low right now just because my voice is a little um low right now from being sick so over here we do have a little sitting area and i really like the combo of items that i decided to use here i thought they were pretty simple natural but also looked really pleasing and i just i love farms like farms are just my thing now like call me <clears throat> an attic but I love creating these like tiny little farms. I love using the little crops and everything. I thought that was super pretty. This was, I think, the third time that I was using this really beautiful path. And I just decided to add some trees and some mush on my item. Mush items. I'm trying to say like three words at the same time. And back here, we're just greeted with a bunch of flowers. I thought this was so pretty and the combo of flowers are just immaculate so if we go ahead and come and take this like little road path um you will be greeted with this house and this is where we were right now and they have a tiny little farm like a little simple little farm with some tomatoes some wheat and i thought that was super pretty also i really like if you take this path as well i also wanted to add a bunch of like little details like these um garden wagons not garden wagons what are they called just wagons facing like different directions and different areas and make the area look kind of busy i thought that was super pretty so i do have a heights and farm and in my heights and farm i wanted to incorporate these beautiful flowers in the dream address you actually will not see any rocks i did destroy them before saving the dream address and i just really love this uh, this is just incredible i love all of the little flowers and especially like i said earlier the, the time that it's set to is just gorgeous you can have a little seating area over here and you can read a book and then over here there's like a peaceful little vintage sitting area as well and again just a bunch of hyacinths i really love this combo of hyacinths color we also have another home over here and like i said the houses are different colors and i love that over here we have a little um I guess like a little storage area you can also sit there and read and there's like a shop and some books and stuff that you can kind of learn from of the different flowers and again back here just same thing a different little heights in and back here over here there's a bunch of little different white flowers and because i made this area kind of colorful I wanted to add this area to kind of give it like that balance it needs like which is like not super super duper colorful but it just like kind of balances everything out i thought that was really cool and then if we go ahead and come over here this was actually one of the last areas that i was working on and i just went with a like simple little soccer field and it's kind of just abandoned and there's like some like soccer balls and there's like some bottles some flowers some wheat fields and i wanted to add some wind turbines as well 
these turbans were my lifesavers in uh, the first island I, I created like I added them everywhere but I just miss using them because I've been using the windmills more and I wanted to use the wind turbines now and I was like yeah this is a perfect chance okay so now that we're basically done with the back area or like the whole left side area i do want to show you guys the middle area if you also want to see like little different details that i incorporated feel free to dream the dress just because i won't go through every single little detail i will make a playlist of all the speed builds that i did for this island if you guys want to check that out i did like this entrance and the museum and other areas as well so for this mir middle, <laughs> middle area, I created this like really, I wanted, okay, so one of the, also, sorry, my phone is like on, it's like right next to here. So the thing I wanted to create um, here is I wanted to create, sorry, so my dog was making like some noises in the back and I didn't even realize that. Sorry about that. So here I wanted to make it look like an infinity road that just went like across and like, like, it was just like a non-ending and i wanted to give it that illusion i wanted it to make it look super pretty if you hear my dog in the background he's just playing around so um if you hear that i'm sorry uh so over here i wanted to add this little sitting area and i thought the choice of desserts was so cute i think it's like a little cake and like other little snacks and stuff little drinks little chocolate things and goldie is just like the center of attention today so over here we do have a little hidden lake and i love this i never thought of doing something like this and i'm just in love it's like a lake like like it just separates this area so well and i just love it over here is where we were earlier and i believe this is now the middle area this is right behind the resident service area and for the back area i just added all of these trees i added a lot of flowers i added a lot of little items that kind of gave it that hints of countryside and honestly this is probably one of my favorite areas as well i really love everything about this and it just kind of separates the two areas really nicely so over here we just have this lovely view of this like road and this is more like a countryside area as you guys can see to the left side there's like another little picnic area and it's so so cute with the little muffins the radio and this wheat field took forever to get like there's so much wheat fields around my island that it was just like like incredible how many times i had to time travel like literally and also all of the trees they took me forever so over here we just have how do i explain this it's like a bunch of little homes it's a bunch of little um farms i guess yeah like a bunch of farms and there's just like a bunch of farms and over here we have a little gyroid party going on i love this this is so cute we have a little gyroid party going on there's just like a little table and some snacks in the middles it's pretty simple but i was also giving that it's giving it's just it's giving and we just have a bunch of like little storefronts and this leads us back to the nooks and cranny or nooks cranny i always say nooks and cranny it's nooks cranny and i also have a speed build on this if you guys would like to check that out i just added some basic items like little storefronts i added these like little snacks and one of my favorite areas as well is this little area back here I didn't show you but it's like a little path over here we have like a little painting area you can paint like the little lake and stuff but this area just it reminds me so much of forest core and I just love forest core everything is so green so lush and it's really really pretty especially in this daytime it's really nice to look at and back over here we just have a couple of more other like little items as well we have a shed and yeah so this is basically like the middle back area of the resident service area like i said if you like to look at more of the details you guys are more than welcome to come and visit the island for yourself and then i created this like little bus stop which i thought was really cool and cute and we have poppy over here okay now to the right side so again right side we just have a villager home we have a little sitting area and this back area is one of my favorite areas it's so simple but yet so so cute i thought it was super cute 
we have some trees and then we have a little dessert area which i thought was super super cute look at all of the little desserts like look at those little bagels like smiling they're gonna be like they're gonna be in my belly in a few minutes but they are so happy to be there they look delicious there's a bunch of biscuits also i don't know why i didn't mention this but there's a bunch of gifts for you guys there's uh i believe the brown ones it's like an outfit or i think an outfit and then the red ones are like the ladders and like a bunch of cute little items that you guys can carry and over here we do have the able sisters and for the Able Sisters, I kept it pretty simple. I, well, I hope that I, I kept it pretty simple, but I just added a couple of like items that you would see in like a clothing store. And I just added some flowers and these really pretty dresses. Over here, we do have a little cafe. We have a little coffee. We have some delicious pancakes, like a little sitting area. In this beach, there's like a bunch of gyroids everywhere. So I thought that was super cute. Also, I... I don't know why but i was like i'm gonna keep these coconut trees so they're not they don't get large and ugly like these and just save it when i'm gonna save my dream address and i forgot about it so that that sucks <laughs> um and then over here we have my house and my house is kind of hidden away the front room is decorated but the other rooms are not decorated if you guys want to see the interior um just know that i'm not really good at decorating interiors i'm i'm not really that good so i just added like a bunch of random items that i had left and then over here is my famous little flower this is my flowers some cosmos and some pink hyacinths and i really love this area it's really nice and soothing and calming and i thought it was really lovely um i love how everything just looks super super pretty i love all of the little flowers I love this little picnic area. It just looks so aesthetic. Like if this was like a real life thing, like I would pull my camera out and just like take a bunch of pictures of this because this looks so, so pretty. And to this right side of the resident service area, I just added a little bench, a little bike. And over here, there's like just a really cool like separation between like the gyroid little farm and this area which is really nice and i kind of learned how to do that recently like separating little areas you learn something new every day every year every month i hope and over here we do have my campsite and for my campsite i'm this one i'm pretty angry about because i made a whole video on how to do this cute little area just like really simple campsite and i deleted it i deleted it i i you know i was like wow i deleted this really simple it was called it was gonna be called how to decorate a campsite simply or like a simple campsite which is really simple i just added a rug i added some books i added some little pillows and i thought it was super simple but it was really nice and yeah so over here to this little area we were here earlier there's like a little vintage shop up there and you can take this bridge over here and this this is beautiful this is like my favorite area i know i keep saying this is my favorite area but this is like top tier this is like i want to be the here like i want to sit here and relax and be here and just this is just, I love this area. It's really, really pretty. I love it. On my map though, it looks super crooked and I'm like, Ugh. And we have some like little waterscaping over here, which I thought was really nice. We have this bridge over here and it's going to lead you to these really pretty homes. It's a little villager neighborhood and I just love this. I love the little centerpiece. I love the colors. I love the houses. Everything just looks really nice. Back here is where like the gyroid farm is. So it's just like pretty simple. There's some evergreen ashes, the giant vine. And to the right side, we just have a tiny little farm and I decided to keep the spoiled turnips. I thought that was a really nice touch. Again, some wind turbines. We have a little snack area, a little farm. 
and then if we go ahead and come back here you can kind of come back here and then like see some bushes and flowers you can sit on this bench and then back here i just added a bunch of uh like weeds and like make i just wanted to make it look a little bit abandoned and then same here i just have a villager home area and this just leads us back to where we were basically so that's basically it for today's video i hope that this I don't know i hope that this island inspires you i had really like i had so much fun creating this island it was really nice to try different themes um i've never tried like a spring core countryside island which was really nice to do it was really nice for you guys to tag along on my journey and it was really nice to see you guys excited to see this island finish this island tour was supposed to be uploaded i think like a week ago but i got sick a week ago and i just i couldn't i had no motivation or inspiration but i do appreciate to everyone that reached out to me and said it's okay like take your time i really really do appreciate that thank you so so much for your constant love and support thank you to anyone who's been here forever and to anyone that basically just subscribe in general thank you for joining me on my journey it's really nice it's really cool for in my next island theme i'm deciding to make a like generator and like you guys choose different themes and like i'll just spin it and like maybe it'll be like i don't know countryside and i don't know like city car <laughs> who knows i don't know but if you guys want to do that let me know i hope that you guys are all having a fantastic week hopefully you guys don't get sick i hope that whatever you're Whenever you're watching this, you're doing great. Um, stay safe, be kind, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, my beautiful tulips.